All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praises, honor, glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Achat Kodash. Double honor to the apostle of the great millstone. And Sausage Brothers doing this thing in sincere and truth and with charity. Firstly, Yahweh's name, the Heavenly Father, Bahasham means in the name, by in the Sham name. Yahweh Shai's name, my begotten son, and Rachat Kodash means Holy Spirit. Literally translated Spirit Holy, Rachat Spirit Kodash Holy. And I'm going to play this little clip, man. I'm going to go straight into it, man. Hey, look, you eat a mice. You're going to have to pay for what your forefathers did. Point blank, period, nigga. Ain't no, ain't no other way around. I'm going to play this at these precepts. We. And who the hell do you mean y'all? That's what the fuck I'm talking about. You got a dumb who nigga co-signing this shit. I ain't picking no motherfucking cotton. They been picking cotton in years. And y'all. Who the hell are y'all? I don't even know now. One white man breathing that can even tell you where a cotton field is at. What the fuck is he talking about? The fuck do you mean we? And who the hell do you? Then of course you got the comment board, man. It's a lock, it, man. I don't get no pass. But yeah, man, look, you're gonna pay for it. Plain and simple. I'm gonna get straight to the, to the, to the, to the. To the gut story. Here is Isaiah 14, 21. Prepare slaughter for his children for the iniquity of their fathers. All right? So no so no matter how you look at it, look, you're going to have to pay for it. And if you really want to get deep about it, you are your forefathers. All right? Just, it just like when you read Deuteronomy 28, it tells us that we're going to go, go through these things. It says you're going to go through these things. But those people died thousands of years ago. But that's the reincarnation, they're back, and we're them, man. All right, it say you and your king shall go go into this, you know. We didn't even have a king back then. All right, after most, we didn't have a king back then, man, until uh, King Saul and King David. So when did they get put into slavery? When did they go on slave ships? It's called reincarnation. You are your fathers, man. About every third generation, third, fourth generation, you come back. But even if, without going that deep, look, prepare slaughter for his children, for the iniquity of their fathers, that they do not rise, nor possess the land, nor fill the face of the world with cities. For I will rise up against them, saith the Lord of hosts, and cut off from Babylon the name and remnant and son and nephew, saith the Lord. Well, that's Babylon. It's talking about Babylon. Well, look, this is Psalms 137. Nothing happened in ancient Babylon. It's not talking about ancient Babylon. But let's prove what it's talking about. When you read Revelation, there's a kingdom. The last kingdom that will rule over Israel is referred to as Babylon the Great. All right, Mystery Babylon. Who is that? Edom. Psalm 137 and 6. If I do not remember thee, let my tongue cleave to the roof of my mouth. For I prefer not Jerusalem above my chief joy. Remember, O Yahweh. Bahasham Yahweh Shai, the children of Edom, and the day of Jerusalem, who said, race it, race it, even to the foundation thereof, and race it, you know, race means to basically to erase, to get to wipe away, to get rid of. That's they thought to do to us, man. The na now remember, there's 12 tribes of Israel, the so-called Native Americans, the so-called Negroes, and the so-called Latinos. All right, we are not Africans, man. We are another dark race, just like the East Indians, black as fuck. Dark skin don't equal African, man. And Africa is not the motherland. Galatians 4.26, Jerusalem is. Another lesson, though. But remember, it's 12 tribes, right? And I say that because they like to throw, oh, that was so long ago. You ain't picked no cotton into that. Look, it don't matter. For the Gadites, okay, y'all still just was fucking them up. On, for one, they fucked up on their plantations, period. They got all type of documentaries on that, man. They don't have water access. It's a volunteer that got the, it was a lady at that man, and I don't really call women ladies unless it's an actual lady. But what she did was so honorable. She gets the title lady. She's taking a truck, filling up with water, going to different plantations. They can get water, man. A Gadite woman has to do that herself, man. Then you mentioned the pipeline, what y'all been doing, and just fucking them up over period, man. The, uh, then we get to. South America, you know what you're doing. Look at Venezuela, how you're trying to overthrow them to control their resources, which you do to the whole fucking planet. But Israel, we get a double portion of that, right? But look at what you did to Issaquah, the Mexicans, right? Oh, fuck. I wish I could remember the exact um, 
uh, state y'all took them to. But y'all got these Mexicans up there and was paying them like 50 cents an hour. Slave labor, man. Told them one number, but then didn't give them that. Gave them, they got 50, if I'm not mistaken, the article said 50 cents an hour. All right? This, this shit is still happening. And the Negroes, hey, this is, it's called systematic oppression for a reason. Everybody's hip to the 13th Amendment. They made a, a Netflix documentary on it, man. The regular average nigga know about that. And you got this dread-headed nut co-signing that shit. I don't know a white man. I even know what cotton field is at. We picked more than just cotton, man. All right? And for the record, emancipation only means to transfer ownership. Look up the etymology, E-T-Y-M-O-L-O-G-Y, the etymology of emancipate. And when you go to the etym online, it's going to tell you to transfer ownership. We went from being uh, uh, slaves to individuals to now it's corporate slavery. All right? The transition... The industrial transition happened. So then what happened? So they needed workers. They needed slave laborers, man. All right? So they give you paper money, and what you got to do with it, give them that money back to get natural, the things you need for, to sustain life. Food, shelter. When you was a slave, they provided food and shelter for you. It was the bottom of the bottom, but they still provided it. And now what do they teach us? Get your money, and you still get the bottom of the bottom. You get your shrimps, your lobsters, which, are, which was prison food at one point. Then you get your Cheetos and all this extra ass processed shit. They don't teach us no better than we still get in the fucking slop. Niggas still eat chitlins on Thanksgiving. It's the, it's the same thing, man. They're not giving you actual re resources and riches and freedom. We still stuck because you got to have paperwork. You assigned a number at birth. This is still slavery, man. But let's get back to this, right? Psalms 137 and 7. Remember, O Yahweh, the church of Edom and the day of Jerusalem, who said, race it, race it, even to the foundation thereof. Even after they so-called freed us, they had their feet up our ass, man, because they wanted to destroy us completely. Since they couldn't kill us all off, what did they do? They took away our way of life. All right, we had to serve them for everything. We go to them for the one of all things. We stuck it, and ultimately, we're captive still. You so focused on cotton fields, you forget the fact that this ain't our land. That they still controlling this shit and they control us, man. You can't even go fishing in a lot of states because you know some, oh, well, I don't got to do that. But in a lot of states, you can't even go fishing without a fucking license. You can't even travel now without a license and that's illegal. You have the, the, the right to travel is an, is an inalienable right. To drive is to com is, is have a driver's license. You only need it for commercial driving. But because they own you, because we're slaves here, all right? Because we're slaves here, they force you to do these things. You got to follow their ways. Well go, well, go back where you come from. Go back home. All right, now I got to apply for a passport. Then I got to hope to gain citizenship to this other place. Still ruled by our enemies, man. Oh, daughter, oh, I keep forgetting this is the point. I right, read, let me read this. Oh, daughter of Babylon, who are, so Edom is the daughter of Babylon. This is the modern Babylon. This is the Babylon Isaiah 14 is talking about. Edom is the Babylon in Revelation. Edom is the so called red man, the so called white man. He's really red, right? Oh, daughter of Babylon, who are to be destroyed, happy shall he be that rewardeth thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stones. You have to pay for all the atrocities from slavery to the modern slavery we suffer, from the oppression we suffer, from the Daniel 725, man. You force your ways of life on us. That's oppression, man. We the Israelites. We supposed to be able to serve you. How about show me how should I keep our own customs? This is slavery. Daniel 725. And he shall speak great words against the most high. And show where out the saints of the Most High and the saints are the Israelites. Psalms uh, 50 and 5, right? And think to change times and laws, and they should be given into his hand until the time and times and the dividing of time. So we sitting in your hands, man, having learning your ways, speaking your language. That's, that's the sign of a conquered people. All right. Whether you speak in Spanish because you get conquered by Spain. All right. Or you speak in English. We, that's the language of a, a conqueror, man. 
All right, we forced them to live according to their ways. All right, and, f- and follow their shit, man. Sodomites every fucking well. Disorder. The woman is put over the fucking man. I'm damn women. I'm fucking I, just whores out here. Men are fucking effeminate. Can't raise your children how you want to. It's illegal to even chastise your child because we're captives, man. We can't do what's right in the sight of our own heritage, man. How do you not realize that we are still in captivity? We're not free. We're still in the land that called us. That's like being in jail, but because you can roam, you can roam through that particular prison with the cells unlocked that you say you free. No, you're still in jail. That's like, okay, when you in segregation, oh, I'm a slave, I'm captive. They let you out of segregation and put you with Jim Pop. You know, now oh, I'm free. Nigga, no, you still in prison. We still in prison. All right? We still got to go. Hey, this is Baruch. Oops. Things. No, no, no. I'm tripping. I'm putting two together. Oh, man. Um, This Baruch. Three and eight. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity where thou hast scattered us. If we're not in our own land and we're under the hands of another nation's authority, that's captivity. All right. Where thou hast scattered us for our reproach and a curse and to be subject to payments. We got to pay bills, taxes, whatever that comes our way, we, we got to pay for it for the most part. Right. Some shit you may just let go. I mean, you just say, fuck it. Right. You may not need it. So you just say, fuck it. But but mainly taxes and bills, you gotta pay. You need that shit. You need light, gas, water, uh, state fees. You know, for his ID a license. You know, if you need, if you gotta get those things. You gotta pay for those things. According to all the iniquities of our fathers, which departed from the Lord our power, and it said, "What we got these according to the iniquities of our fathers." So we going through the same thing. Edom, you're going to get punished just like we got punished. For what our for our fathers not keeping the laws of the Lord, man, which to understand that we know that we were back then, so we're going through it. But just off just off face value, we suffer for what our fathers did. You're gonna suffer for what your fathers did, man. All right, and you're still doing this shit. You still hate us to this day. You still make laws against us. Are right, we still oppressed? All right, we still hate it. We still killed in the streets. We still the how does the old saying go? Uh, uh, last hired, first fired, man. I I never forget this conversation. My grandmother had this with me when I was so young. I'm gonna tell you something. She said, "Look, you was born with two strikes already. You black, and you a man. You know, you black and you a black man at that. I already had two strikes against me. As she told me, this society is against us, man." It ain't changed. You know, no matter how uh, righteous you want to appear, Esau, how you all for peace and love, the fact of the matter is you hate us. Your whole way of life is against us. You make sure you promote the gangster rap while men are talking about killing each other, making whores of the daughters of Israel, which these and then these bitches are just following and they love it. The more the more a song is about being a a, a whore of thought, these women love that shit, man. All right? Then our men just all fucking bugged out and just complete just completely compromised, man. You promote that shit, then you promote Sodom. It's always a token Sodom black dude or Mexican on every TV show or movie. Y'all make sure y'all do that, man, to push that that vibration out there on our people, man, that's that's oppression. That's part of being oppressed, man. You pushing your ways upon us. You know? You got to pay for that. Like the psalm said, happy shall he be that do these things, man. We're going to be happy when we pay you back. And if anybody ain't in that spirit, they going against the wishes of the Lord. Hey, this second Thessalonians, you just get a free pass. We suffered... We're the children of the Most High. 
Yahweh, it said Yahweh Shai uh, wasn't ashamed to call us brethren. And we got fucked up. And you think you're not going to get fucked up? You got the game fucked up. This Second Thessalonians 1, and um, I'm going to get straight to the point. 6, saying it is a righteous thing with the most high to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. So that's righteous, and that's what's going to happen. You're going to get tribulation. We got it. You're going to get it, man. We drink of that cup. You think you're not going to drink of it? This is um, Jeremiah 25. And um, 27, therefore thou shalt send to them, thus saith the Lord of hosts, the power of Israel, drink ye and be drunken, and spew and fall and rise no more, because of the sword which I will send among you. And it shall be, if they refuse to take the cup at thine hand to drink, then shalt thou send to them, thus saith the Yahweh of hosts, ye shall certainly drink. And that cup is talking about the slavery and destruction, like we, we drink of it, man. For lo, I began to bring evil on the city which is called by my name. We got jacked up. And should ye be utterly unpunished? Ye shall not be unpunished, for I will call for a sword upon all the inhabitants of the earth, said the Lord of hosts. So you're going to get the whole world got to get it. Psalms 83. All right, y'all all joined together this devil to, to keep us hidden, man. So we can just be called black and Mexican and Native Americans. That's a fucked up phrase. You didn't have a nationality before America existed. You're called Native Americans before America was in existence. How you how you fucking call any type of American? But that's part. Hey, that's part of the oppression. That's part of punishing us, man. That shit is still happening. Meanwhile, the whole world know we the fucking Israel. We are the Israelites. I've had conversations with Arabs and uh, East Indians, man. At least they appear to be East Indian. They could have been Arabs too, man. You know, Arab means mixed. Who knows, right? But they said, we would tell them, yeah, you, you Ishmael, we Isaac, we Israel, and they know. And then we have conversations, but they know these things. Yet it's never been taught. It's never been pushed. These people got to go. They came together to keep us hidden, man. So we wouldn't know we the Israelites, so we can stay under subjection to our enemies, man. They gotta fucking get it, man. And that's what that's what the righteous is waiting for. This is Revelation 13 and 9. If any man have an ear, let him hear. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So there you, there you, this is what we're looking forward to, man. This is hey, just knowing you're going to get this judgment. Hey, it helps us continue and, and uh, endure through our days in hell, man. That the Lord would not leave us here. He would deliver us from the hands of our enemies. Because ultimately, we're in the... Hey, this is uh, Jeremiah 17 and 4. And thou even thyself should discontinue from thine heritage that I gave thee. And I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land which thou knowest not. For ye have kindled a fire in my anger which shall burn forever. And we're here forever just means um, a, a long time. And we've been under Esau's hands for a long ass time. From Greece to Rome to now, okay? And now the time is up, all right? Greece was the leopard, all right? And Rome was the fourth beast. And of course, you know, when you read through the prophecy, Rome will have a basically a Rome 2.0. That's America, the rest of the fourth beast. The feet and toes that was left of the legs in the statue in Daniel. This is Rome 2.0. The beast who deadly's wound was healed in Revelation. Because that beast again goes back to Daniel. But that wound was healed. Rome fell and now it's back. Malachi 1 and 4. Right? But what does it say? These are our enemies. And now's the time you're going to be brought down and de being destroyed, man. Point blank, period. You never got punished for none of the shit you did. You think you're going to escape? No. This is Baruch chapter 4. And 27, be of good comfort, O my children, and cry unto the Most High, for ye shall be remembered of him that brought these things upon you. For as it was your mind to go astray from the Most High, so being returned, seek him ten times more. But he that hath brought these plagues upon you shall bring you everlasting joy again with your salvation. Take a good heart, O Jerusalem, for he that gave thee that name will comfort thee. 
Miserable are they that afflicted thee and rejoiced at thy fall. Miserable are the cities which thy children served. Miserable is she that received thy sons. For as she rejoiced at thy ruin and was glad of thy fall, so shall she be grieved for her own desolation. For I will take away the rejoicing of her great multitude, and her pride shall be turned into mourning. For a fire shall a for a fire shall come upon her from the everlasting long to endure, and she and she shall be inhabited of devils for a great time. O Jerusalem, look about thee toward the east, and behold the joy that cometh unto thee from the Most High. So the Lord is going to deliver us, and he's going to put you heathens in slavery, man. All right, Esau, Edom, you will be judged, man. This is Lamentations 4, and we're ending on this, Lord willing. Lamentations 4 and 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, which is the so-called white man, self-proclaimed white because he's red. He's the devil the Bible speaks of. He whose work comes after the working of Satan, you know, Second Thessalonians, the second chapter. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwellest in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. Thou shalt be drunken, and shalt make thyself naked. The punishment of thy iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thy iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. So you will be judged, man. The daughter of Edom, the descendants of Edom. You will be judged. Shalom.